Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have seen a sample example on how to implement or how to access the DOM elements uh, with the access, with the methods that we have we have learned that is get element by ID and also the get elements by class name. So we have learned these two methods. Now it's time for us to move on to the next access method or otherwise method to access the doc, DOM element that is get elements by tag name so this is uh, uh, we should be very careful on using this get elements by tag name why because so this creates a performance issue why because lot of computation is required for the javascript engine by the javascript engine because of that one there will be a performance issue so whenever you are trying to use this get elements by tag name please rethink once again why you are using so if it is uh, okay if it is necessary for you to use only then only you can use this tag name or otherwise it is advisable not to use it why because it will search it will go through all the nodes to capture that element node so which are having which are matching with the tag name so that is the reason so let's see the sample example uh, let's see this our old example so which we have implemented so i will try to show you so this is our thing we already also have written a snippet code in this one in the sources if you try to see there is a dom and if i click on this one so here we are able to see the code and if i click on control enter see we are able to get a red color and we have also used these class names so if you want you can also write that for loop which we have implemented that one in the console in order to have a demo so if you want you can also use class names dot length you can use it and i can use i plus plus and here class names or class elements of i dot style dot oh sorry of i dot style dot background color background color is equal to color i can use it now if i try to run it so now the class selectors also will change it to red color right so this is the code which we have implemented now now it's time for us to learn about the tag name so about the tag name so tag name here if you try to see so what it will try to do is here if you try to see the code here we are having two paragraphs okay so these are the only two paragraphs which are available in the entire html page so these are the only two paragraph elements these are the only two paragraph elements which are available for example if you want to use select all the elements which are having with the tag name of div means then you are having so many elements what are all the elements that are matching with the div element div tag name so those all will be selected so here i am having only two paragraphs so i can use get elements by tag name with a paragraph let's try to see it so here if i go into this one set timeout and if i open this one here let tag elements or anything whatever the name you want you can use it document dot get elements by not class name this time we need to use tag name of uh, what is the name we need to use paragraph p that's it so let's try to run it and we can use this one in the console if i go to the console here tag elements right tag elements i can use this tag elements now if you observe carefully the tag elements is also written in html collection of paragraph and also it is also having a length property so this is html collection and if you try to see the class names also this also returns in live html collection so this also has the same thing so this both returns are one and the same thing the written type of this tag name and also the class names are one and the same only these are written in html collection so if you are using this html collection means so we can use the for loop and we can uh, loop over and we can change the color of this paragraph also so this is the thing we can use it for example if i want to loop over this one so here i can write for let i is equal to zero i less than tag elements dot length and i i can use i plus plus so this is the thing shift enter you can use it and here tag elements of i sorry i dot style dot background color is equal to red or something like this you can use it so press enter see the tag elements which are the tag elements which are having paragraph tag those all are being selected so this is all about the get elements by tag name so for uh, you need to re remember one thing is get elements by tag name will select all the tags which are having the particular tag whatever the argument you have given it it will select all the elements 
so this creates a performance issue why because it needs to traverse all the dom nodes and it needs to check each node each node and needs to cast the element node of that one so because of that reason so the javascript engine has a lot of burden and also the performance issue for doing this one so compared to the uh, this tag name get elements by class name has a less performance issue so uh, a less performance issue why because get elements by class name is somewhat it is somewhat specific so that is the reason so it has uh, somewhat more performance compared to the tag name so tag name is has a less performance thing so this is what i want to explain you hope you understood about this get elements by tag name if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you